Welcome back to our channel. I am currently in the living room. Pay no attention to like the kitchen because it's a mess. Um, and I'm probably gonna get out of breath talking to you all because I am almost 38 weeks pregnant. Friday, I mean, I'm like 37 weeks in a couple days, so I'm not almost 38 weeks, but next Friday I'll be 38 weeks, which is crazy. Um, it's going by so fast. So since I'm about to pop, I have certain YouTube videos that I wanna share with y'all, and so there's a couple that I feel like I need to get on, share with y'all before she comes, if she comes early, um, to help all my other mamas out. So. Today I'm going to be sharing what is in my travel or portable nursing and diaper cart. So Baby Rose Nursery is upstairs, um, but for the first however long she's going to be sleeping in our um, room in the bassinet, bedside bassinet. And so I wanted to have something in our room that had like all the diapers, like my breastfeeding stuff, so I don't have to go up the stairs and get it in our nursery all the time. So that's that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, so I'm just gonna go through this and share what I have in it. Um, you may think it's necessary. You may think it's like totally going overboard. Um, and honestly, whatever you think is right for you is good for you. So hopefully this is worth it. Okay. So here is the cart row by row. <laughs> um, so I just want to go through this and kind of pull some stuff out and share, um, everything. So here is the view from the top. Okay, on this top row, we have diapers. Now, we're not really sure how big she's gonna be, so I have newborn diapers and ones, um, just in case she comes out and she already fits in these. And then we've got some baby wipes that I'm, I know we're gonna have to refill probably really fast. Um, and then this, which is really cool, it is a, mat that um, unfolds. I bought two of them. Actually, the other one's right over here. So I actually bought two of these. One to go in our um, diaper bag, and then this one's just going to stay on this. So if we need to change her in the middle of the night, we can pull this out and lay it on her bed, lay it on the floor, and you can change her on it. Or if we change her out in the living room, it just to keep it clean. So that's really nice. Okay, here's the view of the second row. We still have some diaper stuff. We've got some nursing stuff on here, some just like health swaddles. Um, let me pull this out actually. So we've got a swaddle just in case we need to change that. This is also a blanket swaddle. And then we have um, butt spatula some um, diaper cream, butt cream, nail file, which I read that these are, this is great. You, it like, um, instead of cutting, it files them down. Of course, we've got the Wendy and the um, Nose Frida Snot Sucker. We've got some pacifiers back here. And then we also have, um, these are my breast pads for when I leak. And then again, some another like little swaddle and burp cloth. And then on this very bottom row is my breast pump breastfeeding stuff. So we have, this is the breast pump that I um, decided to go with. Um, I heard great things about it, so try that. Just has some extra stuff. We also have the LV Curve and Catch back there. And then we've got some bottles and some different things to put the milk in. So that's on the bottom row. 
So I watched a ton of videos on like different carts and different like ways to do this. And um, I'm sure we'll want to add stuff as she comes and as we're learning. Um, but I feel like this is a good start. There's a couple things like a couple medicine health things that I don't have down here that, that I have up in the nursery that I may want to bring down here. But for the most part, I feel pretty good about this. Um, the whole goal in this was to just make it easier for Bradley and I in the middle of the night when we're out in the living room so we don't have to walk up and down the stairs. Um, so once baby row comes, I'll have to do another video and share if I think it was worth it and like what I feel like are the must haves in the cart. Um, since I don't have any experience right now, I can't really like say if this worked or not, but once she comes, I'll definitely do another video. I'm going to link everything in the description below for y'all. Um, everything. So if you are looking for some of this stuff, head to the description and it'll all be there. Um, little like 37 week update since I'm 37 weeks in a couple days. I went to the doctor on Friday and she said everything looks great. Um, I was a little bit nervous because a couple weeks ago I had my growth scan and she, the, the ultrasound said that she, baby Rose was a whole week ahead and that she was already at 36 weeks, she was seven pounds, five ounces, which I know the ultrasound can be way off, but that's a big baby. And so I was scared that they were gonna want to induce me early, like because she's so big, or I just wasn't really sure. I did my ultrasound last, so I didn't talk to the doctor after. Um, so I just had been sitting with this all week. But, so I got to talk to my doctor and um, she doesn't seem like really concerned about it. She said the ultrasounds usually are like big. So she would guess if it said seven and a half pounds, maybe she was only like seven, um, which is still a really big baby at 36 weeks, but she, doesn't seem concerned. So we're just gonna roll with it. I had my group B strep test last week and that came back negative. Also, a lot of people, okay. So I was a little bit scared going in for my group B strep test. The, even the um, glucose test where you have to drink the drink, um, pelvic exams. Like I was nervous about all those. Like I feel like people, made those seem so scary and it's really not bad. The glucose drank not bad at all. It was like a tiny bit. The group B strep test, definitely uncomfortable, but like was so quick. And then I've now gotten checked twice. And honestly, like it feels like a pap. Like if you've ever had a pap, which if you're pregnant, you probably have. Um, it literally, I feel like it doesn't even feel as like bad as that. So I don't know. I, the, my experiences with all those <laughs> have been good. So, um, she checked me last week and at 37 weeks, at 36 weeks, I was about one or almost one centimeter. I didn't really progress. She said I was still one centimeter last week. And so now that I'm 37 weeks, I'm starting to do like some things to try to help labor start. <laughs> so we'll see next week, next Friday, what she says and if I've progressed at all. So Bradley thinks she's going to come like next week. I think she's going to come the week of her due date. So like two weeks or like two and a half weeks, but we'll see. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure to uh, follow us on Instagram. I'm going to actually post all of the diaper cart or diaper nursing cart um, stuff on Instagram too and save it to a highlight. So make sure to follow us there. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. And you don't want to miss out on our like labor video and stuff. So definitely subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful. See y'all next week.